How do you unify the country? Firstly, I think the way you construct your administration should talk to the population without you having to explain anything. In other words, gender balance, racial balance, age issues, all of those, the way you put your cabinet together, your administration together, all Zimbabweans must see it rather than have to listen to you speak to it. That's how you do it. And then in your behavior, this country, development, approach to development, it must be a holistic, all country development. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to use an example. I hope that is acceptable. So when I drive in, in Zimbabwe, all of the roads, of the, in the, especially in the, in the cities, the potholes are unbelievable. But when I drive towards the president's house, there is cut ice. On the road? On the road. Mm -hmm. That's, that's not unified country. When I, if I drive to Zimba, similarly, the roads which go to where the president lives are taken care of. Even the first lady commented on this, that it would appear that if the president is known to be planning to go somewhere, then the roads get sorted out. That is not how you unify a country. Citizens must feel if we are in it, we are in it together. So if we don't have resources and our roads are not being looked after, it must be perceived uniformly that that is the case. Mm -hmm. The resources that we have must be applied across the whole country so that development is perceived to be holistic, all country and all citizens involved. Mm -hmm. That's how you unify a country. Interesting.